The darkness is a mysterious and ancient enemy, which acts as the direct enemy to the similarly ancient Traveller. As the antithesis to the Traveller, it was the cause of the collapse which ended the great golden age of humanity. During the last battle between the Traveller and the Darkness, the Traveller sacrificed itself in defence of humanity, temporarily saving it from annihilation. After the battlegrounds fell silent, the Traveller sat dormant, hovering above Earth and protecting the city. Because the final battle happened so long ago in the history of Destiny, few remember the exact scope and nature of the Darkness, remembering only that it was terrible and its evil was beyond measure. Now, with the Traveller silent and wounded, the Darkness has returned to finish its course of war. The Guardians, bestowed powers by the Traveller, are doing all they can to push the evil back, searching for a way to bring the Traveller back. The Guardians face steep opposition however, just as the Guardians are granted powers by the Traveller, so too are the Fallen, Vex, Cabal and Hive species empowered and emboldened by the Darkness. I just wanted to talk about the Darkness in my own words. The best thing to understand it because the game itself, it's very ambiguous, it seems to be the dichotomy of good and evil and yet there's this physical thing, the Traveller trying to help you and it's full of light, but it looks mechanical. And then you see the darkness at the end, the heart of darkness, a big black blob. And you're like, how do these things work together? Just looking at the Grimoire card entry, it gives you the best idea of what it is because they obviously left a lot of questions unanswered. Um, the speaker tells of a cosmic force that swept over us and caused a collapse. Legend calls it the darkness, the traveler's ancient enemy which hunted it across space. But all we have left are questions and that's exactly what, what they want you to, to think. I mean certain positions often labelled heretical imply that the traveler itself triggered the collapse or that knew the darkness was coming for it and hoped for the solar system as a sacrifice or proxy army. That is insane. Some of the cults are saying that it is necessary to have the darkness like the light and dark. Some are saying that it's a moral presence and actualization of evil. Some of them are saying it's incredible but tangible power. And some of them are just basically saying that there's goodness in the traveler and that the darkness needs sacrifice. So really, you're not going to know at this point. Nobody has confirmed answers, but it's very interesting to see that even in game they kind of have their own little theories and arguments and I think that the expansions are the only time that we're going to have them expand on what it actually is. If you have any comments about it feel free to leave them below otherwise check out destiny.gamepedia.com it gets updated as the game does thank you so much for watching and bye for now.